Hey everyone, Jared Tay here, the founder of the Digibyte blockchain. And today is Time Lock Thursday. And today I'm coming to you with a special demonstration for how time locks can be used and will be used inside the soon to be coming DigiDollar stablecoin. What I'm calling the world's first truly decentralized UTXO time locked stablecoin. That's the idea anyway. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to fire up this script on RegTest, which if you didn't see my other video, RegTest is like your own mini local blockchain. And in this particular case, we're going to have three different wallets that are going to pop up. So this test is totally automated. I've been working on it for a few days. The first wallet that pops up is Bob's. And as you can see, Bob is currently in the process of mining because we need to get past the DigiDollar soft fork activation um, block height on the reg testnet. And so we're actually mining to his account. Now we have a new wallet that just popped up. Alice. Alice heard about DigiDollar and she decided to get involved. So now as you can see, this is the normal Digibyte core wallet. But here under the DigiDollar tab, Bob has minted the first three DigiDollar transactions on the network. Oh, now we have a third participant. We have Charlie. Charlie's getting involved here. So remember, this is an automated script. It's not me doing it. That's why it's going a little fast. Now, if we go to the DigiDollar tab on all of these, you have a lot of data. But the most important thing, you can see every single block in real time how many DigiDollars have been minted. And as you can see here, Charlie, Alice, and Bob all have the same amount. Now you can see this thing called the system health. That is the system-wide collateral for all the DigiDollars that have been minted. And then as you can see here, here's the total number of DigiDollars that have been locked up. So Bob has been doing all the minting. So he's minted four things so far. Now this most recent one, he minted for an hour. So this time lock in this most recent transaction here, whoops. It, uh, when it's generating blocks. So it's going a little fast because it's an automated test script. But what's happening is Bob over here is in the process of trying to redeem this one hour mint. So as you can see here, he minted $10. So Bob has minted a total of $185. And as he's been minting, Charlie and Alice are you know, in different parts of the world, but on the blockchain, they can see that there has been somebody else that's been minting DigiDollars, right? So now, oh, he just redeemed. And look at that. He redeemed his $10. So he actually got his, uh, see, 9999. He got his 10,000 DigiDollars, or uh, DigiByte back. He unlocked his collateral. So that's how unlocking the collateral would work. And now what's happening? Oh, it looks like uh, Bob decided to send Alice a transaction at $34. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and I think he's going to send some here to uh, uh, to Charlie. Oh, he just sent Charlie some digi dollars. Look at that. He sent $12. Now, throughout all this, every single block, block by block, the network total has stayed the same. It's been identical. Bob has been able to mint, redeem, and send digi dollar transactions. And it's consistent on the blockchain. So this is live working code. Um, the redemption process is actually using cryptography and private keys, along with the the, the uh, minting process, the signing process. We're talking about code that's fully been implemented into the blockchain here. Just to get this working, there's currently about, I think, 750 uh, C++ and functional tests that have been written to enforce this logic. But what you're seeing here is a functioning minting, transferring, redeeming, uh, blockchain-wide implementation of DigiDollar. So I know that was really fast. I'm going to be doing more videos that are a basic introduction to the idea and the concept, how it actually works. But just to summarize... Here in the wallet, how it works is you, you can send and receive Digibyte 
like you normally would. Nothing's changed here other than this is the new version 8.26 thing. So you can send, receive, Digibyte as normal. But inside the DigiDollar tab, once you have Digibyte in your wallet, as you can see here, Bob has quite a few because he's been mining for a while. Then you can lock up DigiDollar. So all you need to do is come in here and let's say you want to lock up uh, $100. So we'll go to the amount here. And as you'll see, the collateral will adjust in real time. So for three months, we're looking at 400% and 40,000 DGB have to be minted. Now, I want you to see Charlie and Alice's wallet here in real time because as I come in here and mint, I'm gonna hit okay. And then you see it hasn't updated yet because his transaction has not been confirmed in the blockchain yet. So a miner needs to get this transaction, this DigiDollar Mint, and needs to be able to mine it. So I'm going to copy this address. I need to generate one block to simulate a miner mining. I'm going to go generate to address one. And now I want you to watch over here because as this block hits the blockchain, the network-wide count and total of the amount of DigiDollars locked as collateral is going to adjust the total amount of DigiDollars and the system-wide network health will adjust just a little bit because this 100 DigiDollars is being locked with 400% uh, collateral. So here we go. Boom, look at that. We just increased the network health, which is what we're calling the system collateralization, AKA what the percentage of Digibyte backing DigiDollars is. The network total increased. It also increased here for Charlie. And then if I go to the DigiDollar tab, you can see that Bob's been a busy man. He's been minting, he's been sending, he's been redeeming. And if you go to his vault, you can see, oh, he already redeemed this other transaction. So he unlocked that Digibyte that, that was locked as collateral. So uh, this is a working prototype. There's still a lot of work to be done, but it's very exciting to see this work in action and to see this on a local simulated blockchain. Um, it's an exciting time. So yes, stay tuned for more. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing some really deep dives, some long sessions and putting together a spectacular presentation on exactly what DigiDollar is, the economic benefits, the potential, and then as well as identifying some of the risks. This is totally new, it's experimental, so it's gonna require a amazing coordinated effort with the community to set this up on testnet. I think here in maybe another two or three weeks, we're probably gonna be ready for a community-wide testnet, and if we could get dozens and hundreds of people running testnet nodes and actually simulating digital transactions, um, etc. I think that's going to be amazing. So anyway, I want to keep this short. Stay tuned until next time. Cheers.